about 15 minutes away from uh, the destination that we're heading to and I've seen that beamer with the bonnet up. I would chime him in underneath the bonnet, scratching his head. So I pulled over because I've got tools in the back of Cliffy and water on the deck and hose clamps and all that sort of thing, knives. So if it was a busted radiator hose, I could have certainly helped him. Um, turns out it's a hose underneath the intake manifold and I can't see it for the life of me. So I've told him to just get it towed. Shit. Pulling out onto a state highway here and... Which is a bit dodgy. So yeah, it was a bit of a shame that I couldn't fix it, but um, turns out his cell phone was dead anyway. Um, and he is an AA member, so I called AA for him and got a tow truck on the way, so... Uh, he was pretty grateful, even said sorry for wasting my time, and I was like, bro, I fucking live for this shit, mate. See, we're about, um, what are we, 16 minutes away, load her up, turn and burn, head home. Alright, well I know I'm in Rotorua, because it smells like I just shit myself. It smells bad, bro, it smells bad. I'm sure these cats are used to it, but, my god. Yeah boy, check that out, 1KZ, so we've got us a motor, it uh, came complete with starter motor, all auxiliaries, even an air conditioning pump, um, clutch on it, everything, so good score, 1500 bucks, um, I am going to have to change the injector pump though for a manual one so we can get rid of that ECU driven shit, so and if anyone knows where a 4M40 pump is, or if someone's got a hybrid 2LT 1KZ pump out there for deals, let me know in the comments below, Cheer. Three hour mission home. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, just unloaded the 1KZ. You got it sitting on the floor at the shed. Um, all looks pretty clean, looks pretty mint. I've wrapped the shrink wrap off it. This is the first time I've really had a good look at it. Um, under the uh, oil caps, nice and clean. There's no milkiness or any sludge under there. Doesn't appear to have any mad leaks of oil coming down the side of it or anything like that. It's all pretty dry. Um, it does have the flywheel and clutch on it, so it didn't come out of an automatic, it came out of a manual, which is a bonus. Um, not having to get rid of the flexi plate, whatever that situation is. And it's already got a Hilux sump on it, so uh, quite a few of the 1KZs and the Prados. Um, the belly pan is at the front to clear the IFS. So this has got the Hilux sump on it, so it's going to be sweet ears for that solid front axle in my one. Um, I just need to get an injection pump, because this one being ECU driven, heaps of plugs, we want to eliminate that. So there's bugger all electronics. So if anyone out there knows, we're a 4M40 um, Mitsi Pajero pump, that's the one I'm going to go for. Whack that on there, and then all I've got to do is run one 12 volt wire for the fuel solenoid, and this motor should run. So. Uh, let us know in the comments below, 4M40 injector pump. Um, there was one on Trade Me for 250 a few weeks ago, I seen it, should have clicked buy now, didn't. Kicking myself now. Okay, it's late afternoon now, um, had these tyres fitted, uh, the other two were already on rims, so I just needed to get these two put on my negative 44 15 by 10s 
So they're now mounted, so we'll take these home and throw them on the Hilux and see how it looks on the 35s. All right, we'll fire a couple of these beasts up. We'll get the beamer out of the way, put the Hilux on the concrete and um, get these rims on and see how it looks. Should look sick. Fucking tops. Fire the old beamer up every few days. Can hear a little bit of a lifter tick every now and again, so I just let it run for a while. It disappears usually after a few minutes. Um, yeah, this thing will make a comeback because this is plush. Plus, I've got these 18 by nine and a half, I think. Um, genuine BMW um, motorsport rims. So they're off an E39, they look sick. Sorry, 18 by eight and a half. Um, with an offset of, uh, it's quite low, so they'll poke out the guards quite good. Um, I've got two that are mint, and four that some numpty has done a real average job. I don't even know why the fuck he painted them. Fuck, they look like shit. So I need to clean two up and repaint them, and then there's another two spare, and these two here. A mint. So slammed out on those, should look pretty sweet. All right, we've got a jump started. I'm gonna jack it up now, throw the 35s on, and boom, fuck yeah, look at that. Sets it right off, so that thing is big. Heaps of ground clearance between that chassis and the ground there. Um, heaps of clearance still between the rim, tire and the guards. However, there might be a bit of guard rub between there and there, so we'll have to probably either beat it with a hammer or cut it with a grinder, one of the two. Maybe we'll even lift it higher, who knows. But that is looking sick. Ah, uh, yep, we're out here for another episode of Rolling Cold. I've got my mate uh, Luke here. He's um, sitting in the window. And Adrian, yep, he's just trying to fix this. Doing a real good job, you know, got stuck in this river. Nature. Do you want, do you want to crank it? Um... Uh, there he is, back again with a special feature, the man himself, Adrian Wright. Do you want to fold a piece of cardboard, pass a piece of cardboard so I can hang on to a spark lead without getting shocks? i got to record, man. <laughs> yeah, man, look at this. As you can see, we've obviously got spark going on here. We've got spark. <laughs> well, do you want to just put your foot to the floor, Luke? When time gets you down, oh, you know, yeah, shit happens. At least we know we have a spark. <laughs> my, my issue is the battery going flat while trying to crank it. Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> crank, crank it over and put your foot to the floor. If you ever, well, he is literally the Wikipedia. Oh uh, yeah, welcome back to Rolling Cold Down Under. We're definitely down under some water. <laughs> yep. Just chilling here. What are you up to, Adrian? Uh, just, just, just trying to see why it's not running. And I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it, folks. <laughs> We're <laughs> fucked. Hey, you did Oh uh, yeah, so we got out. Woo! Success. Oh uh, yeah. We we're saying lose hope there, had a bit of a dairy break. But we pulled through. And it's all because of you viewers. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> what do you got to say? Oh, look, there's a gate. That's all I got to say about that. And there it is, there it is. It's looking all staunch and shit. Looking sick with its big mud terrains. But listen to the state of it. Fucking heap of junk.
I have no idea what that is.